Welcome back to part two of the electric vehicle regenerative acceleration innovation introduction. So in this part of the demonstration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to operate the regenerative acceleration uh, motor uh, in motor mode and then I'm going to uh, once the EV is up to uh, cruising speed at about uh, uh, 30 kilometers an hour, then I will uh, engage the, uh, change the operation of the Regen X motor from motor mode to regenerative acceleration mode, and we will uh, charge the EV's batteries in regenerative acceleration mode. Uh, with and we will not decelerate the EV. So uh, this is the the Regen X motor that's in the EV. Uh, it's connected to the rear wheel, and the EV motor and the EV's existing motor uh, work in concert initially. And uh, we have three switches here that are operating the three coils that are in the prototype. When the coils are on this side, they're in motor mode. The Regen X motor is, a, is a, assisting in acceleration of the EV to get it up to cruising speed. Once the EV is, uh, once the inertia of the EV has been established, uh, in cruising speed and the vehicle is not accelerating, the, the coils are switched from motor mode. They're being switched manually, manually but uh, that will be automatic when the, when the innovation is fully integrated into an EV. So when we switch the coils from motor mode to regenerative acceleration mode, we begin recharging the EV's batteries and we're using the inertia of the vehicle uh, to drive the generator. The generator is recharging the batteries. We can, we can see the, uh, the current here that's going to the EV's batteries. And I'll bring the, the camera over in a second once I'm doing the demo to show you that. And this EV has cruise control and um, so I'll set it, once it's up to speed, it'll go into cruise control. I'll engage the regenerative acceleration coils. You will see this is the RPM of the generator and you will see the, the, the RPM of the generator increase slightly each time I engage a coil and each time I engage a coil we will, we will uh, we will be delivering more current to the battery and providing more regenerative acceleration to our EV. The second part of this demonstration is I will bring the system down to uh, 20 kilometers an hour perhaps. Below, 20, below 30 kilometers an hour in this EV, the regenerative acceleration innovation operates as a, as a conventional regenerative braking coil. So it sends battery, it sends current back to the EV's batteries and it decelerates the EV. So the Regenerative Acceleration uh, Innovation, the Regenerative Acceleration Regen X motor operates as a motor to, uh, to help accelerate the EV up to speed. Once the EV is no longer accelerating, the Regenerative Acceleration Generator uh, recharges the EV's batteries but does not decelerate the EV and when the EV is decelerating the regenerative acceleration generator uh, also provides regenerative acceleration to the electric vehicle. So uh, let's fire up and see what's happening.
I'm going to take the EV down to 20 kilometers an hour and then I'll put it into regenerative braking mode. down the highway in pure motor mode. I'll put it back into regenerative acceleration quickly so you can see the, uh, the increase of the system. So our speed is 37.12 right now. to 3735 RPM and we are delivering 7.2 amps of reserve acceleration to our EV. kilometers an hour. Our regenerative acceleration motor is in motor mode and now we're going to go into regenerative braking mode. from 25.36 down to 24.48. We are in regenerative braking mode. The Regen X generator coils are delivering 7.2 amps. The speed of the e-bike is 20 kilometers an hour. Cap again, the regenerative acceleration innovation is an electric motor that works like any other electric motor. Uh, it helps to provide acceleration for the EV to help accelerate the EV up to cruising speed. Once the electric vehicle is at cruising range, the Regen X motor coils, individual motor coils, can be switched over to regenerative acceleration coils and they can provide uh, regenerative acceleration to the EV, battery recharging without decelerating the EV. Um, above uh, 30 kilometers an hour and regenerative braking below 30 kilometers an hour. So each Regen X generator coil, there are three of them in this prototype here. The prototype is designed to hold 12. 
Each regenerative acceleration coil has th uh, three function, three functions. It can operate as a motor coil. It can operate as a regenerative acceleration coil, and it can operate as a regenerative braking coil. So now the electric vehicle is recharging its batteries while the EV is coasting. Uh, there's, there's really no, no magnitude of, of recharge current that can be sent to the battery that in regenerative acceleration mode that will cause the EV to decelerate. Uh, so in regenerative acceleration mode, the batteries are recharged, the range of the EV is increased, the recharge time of the EV is decreased, 